overall you're pretty optimistic about the future of supply chain finance. Uh, we're optimistic about supply chain finance. Um, the market, uh, we're, we're in some volatile times at the moment uh, with the euro crisis, um, some slowdowns in China and such. But I think this product uh, will stand the test of time in, uh, in the various economic cycles and, and it, it'll be around for the foreseeable future and be part of the trade uh, uh, product set uh, going forward. So we don't see this product uh, uh, dying off in, in the next two or three years as a fad. It's something that's mm -hmm. here to stay. Um, as the letter of credit market moves uh, or, or gets more specialized uh, in certain markets, this is a nice product uh, in the advancement of open accounts. So mm -hmm. supply chain finance is very much in line with how our, our business has changed from letters of credit to, to, pure, uh, to more trade finance mm -hmm. on open account type uh, transactions. Mm -hmm. Would it be true to say that the current crisis and the heightened um, awareness of risk and the need to mitigate risk has opened up opportunities for supply chain finance? Uh, the understanding of risk certainly opens up opportunities for supply chain finance as well as trade finance in general. Mm -hmm. Generally, uh, trade finance, supply chain finance, short-term, uh, self-liquidating products, so it's very applicable to the market in terms of uh, being able to, to mitigate risk and provide mm -hmm. financing and, and not look to have extended lengths of time where more risk and, and, and uncertainty comes into play. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a nice product for, for the, the economic times we're in today. What's Citi's role in this evolution of this type of market? Are you playing a, a leading figure in, in this development? Well, Citi has been doing uh, trade finance for, for 200 years. This is the space that we have expertise in. So we see ourselves as leaders uh, in this space to, to drive the industry toward some of the standardized uh, approaches we have with documentation, uh, looking at the risk distribution and the, uh, and the ability to sell these assets to a, a wider class of investors. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to see um, for ourselves uh, a greater, uh, a greater expansion of this product. So it, it behooves us to play a lead uh, to make sure that the industry moves along uh, with the product in terms of standardization. Mm -hmm.